International pop star Rihanna is a well-known singer, songwriter, model, dancer, actress, fashion designer, entrepreneur, and music producer. She released her first album in 2005, and she is known for such number one hits as Umbrella, SOS, Diamonds, and Work. Rihanna signed with Def Jam Records at the age of 16, which rapper Jay-Z was the president and CEO of the label, and in 2005 released her first album, Music of the Sun, which sold more than 2 million copies worldwide. She went on to release more albums and an array of songs which includes Unfaithful, Dystopia, Take a Bow, and We Found Love. Rihanna has also won multiple industry accolades, including Grammys and MTV Awards. Early Life Singer Robin Rihanna Fenty was born on February 20, 1988 in St. Michael Parish at the Caribbean island of Barbados. She is the oldest of three children born to Monica Fenty, an accountant, and Ronald Fenty, a warehouse supervisor. Rihanna's childhood was marred by her father's struggles with addiction to alcohol and cracked cocaine and her parents' marital problems. They divorced when she was 14 years old. Rihanna also struggled with crippling headaches for several years during her childhood, a condition she attempted to hide from her friends and classmates so that they would not think she was abnormal. I never expressed how I felt, she remembered. I always kept it in. I would go to school. You would never know there was something wrong with me moved to the United States. As a teenager, Rihanna turned to singing as a release from her troubles at home. She formed a girl group with two classmates when they were 15 years old. They scored an audition with music producer Evan Rogers, who was visiting the island with his Barbadian wife. Rogers was awed by the precocious, beautiful and talented Rihanna, to the unfortunate detriment of her two friends. The minute Rihanna walked into the room, it was like the other two guests did not exist, he admitted. Less than a year later, when Rihanna was only 16 years old, she left Barbados to move in with Rogers and his wife in Connecticut and worked on recording a demo album. When I left Barbados, I did not look back, Rihanna recalled. I wanted to do what I had to do, even if it meant moving to America. Songs in January 2005, Rogers landed Rihanna an audition for Def Jam Records and its newly minted president, the legendary rapper Jay-Z. I was in the lobby just shaking, she recalled. However, once Rihanna opened her voice to sing, she regained her composure. I remember staring into everybody's eyes in the room while I was singing and at that point I was fearless, she said. But the minute I stopped singing, I was like, oh my god, Jay-Z is sitting right in front of me. The hip-hop icon was every bit as wild by Rihanna's commanding presence as Rogers had been two years earlier and he signed her on the spots. Upon the replay on Faithful and SOS. Only eight months later, in August 2005, she released her first single, Pondy Replay, a reggae-influenced club track that reached number two on the B-Board Singles chart and announced Rihanna as the next up-and-coming pop star. Her first album, Music of the Sun, released later that month, reached number 10 on the Billboard album chart and also featured the single If It's Loving That You Want. Rihanna released her second album, A Girl Like Me, the next year, spawning two major hits in Unfaithful and SOS. Rihanna's first number one single, Umbrella. In 2007, Rihanna affected a transformation from cute teen pop princess to superstar with her third album, Good Girl Gone Bad, fueled by its smash hit lead single, Umbrella, featuring Jay-Z. It shows such growth for her as an artist. Jay-Z said about the track, if you listen to the lyrics of that song, you know the depth and how far she's come. Don't stop the music, Dystopia and Hate That I Love You. Umbrella topped the B-Bot singles charts and earned Rihanna her first Grammy Award for Best Rap Song Collaboration. The album reached number two on the charts and also featured the singles Shut Up and Drive and Don't Stop the Music. The latter featuring a sample of Michael Jackson's Wanna Be Starting Something. Good Girl Gone Bad, Reloaded, released the following year, scored further hits in Dystopia, Take a Bow, and Hate That I Love You, Only Girl in the World, and S&M. Continuing her onslaught of hit albums, Rihanna released Rated Arrow in 2009 with the singles Hard and Rude Boy. Her 2010 album Loud was once again a commercial success behind the songs 
What's My Name, Only Girl in the World, and S&M. Beside her own laundry list of hit songs, Rihanna collaborated on a host of popular songs by other artists from around this time, including Jay-Z's Run This Town, Eminem's Love The Way You Lie, Maroon's Fives, If I Never See Your Face Again, and Can You West All Of The Lights, We Found Love. In 2011, Rihanna released her sixth studio album, Talk That Girl. The album included We Found Love, a track with DJ Calvin Harris that won the 2013 Grammy Award for Best Short Form Music Video. Diamonds and Stay. On her Grammy-winning 2012 album Unapologetic, Rihanna turned out such hits as number one, Sia Fola Tone, Diamonds and Stay, featuring Mickey Echo. Interestingly, Unapologetic was the first Rihanna album to hit number one on the pop charts. She also worked with Coldplay on the track Princess of China, and the following year reached number one again with another Eminem collaboration, The Monster. Known for her sometimes sexually provocative imagery and wild star, Rihanna made headlines for the sheer dress she wore on the Council of Fashion Designers of America Awards ceremony in June 2014. She was there to receive the FCDA's Fashion Icon Award and told the crowd that fashion has always been my defense mechanism. According to an Associated Press report, Rihanna acknowledged that there were some rules to fashion but explained that rules are meant to be broken. Around this time, the singer made a bold professional move as well. She switched from the Def Jam label to Jay-Z's Rock Nation for 5 seconds. In August 2015, NBC announced that Rihanna would be the key advisor on The Voice's ninth season. That same year, she contributed vocals to the single for 5 seconds, a collaboration with Web and famed Beatle Paul McCartney, as well as releasing B, Better Have My Money, a tune allegedly inspired by court wrangling with her former manager that also featured a highly controversial violent music video. In 2015, Rihanna also became the first artist in history to have 100 million singles digitally downloaded and streamed. Walk. In late January 2016, Rihanna released the album for Anti, allowing Jay-Z's online streaming site Tidal to exclusively feature the collection of tracks for a week. The gambit paid off for the struggling service, with 1 million trial subscribers joining Tidal in less than a day to partake in a download promotion for Anti. The album's lead single, Walk, featuring rapper Drake, earned two Grammy nominations. In 2017, Rihanna scored an Another number one hit as featured artist on DJ Khalid's Wild Thoughts movies. Branching out to screen work, Rihanna co starred on the sci fi flick Battleship 2012 and later voiced the lead character in the animated blockbuster Home 2015. In 2017, Rihanna made recurring appearances in season 5 of Bait Motel and earned a prominent role in the science fiction flick Vetra and City of a Thousand Planets. That year, fans also got their first glimpse of the pop superstar alongside Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, and Anne Hathaway in trailers for Ocean's 8, a female led spin off for the popular Ocean's trilogy, which hit theater in June 2018. The following spring, Rihanna could starred with Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino, in the Amazon musical Guava Island, Philanthropy and Personal Life. In 2012, Rihanna launched the non-profit Clara Lionel Foundation, named after her grandmother, which supports and funds education and early response programs around the world. For her philanthropic efforts, she was honored with the President's Award at the 2020 MAACP Image Awards. Rihanna has also made headlines lines in her personal life, although often for circumstances beyond her control. She first made gossip column headlines in 2006 when rumored swelled that she was having an affair with her mentor Jay-Z, though she and Jay-Z dismissed such allegations as ridiculous. Later, she was romantically linked to billionaire Saudi businessman Hassan Jamil before their split was reported in early 2020. In late 2020, Rihanna began dating rapper Esap Rocky. In January 2022, it was revealed that the couple is expecting their first child. 
Rihanna gave birth to their son on May 13, 2022, according to TMZ. Chris Brown, in 2009, Rihanna was the center of a media firestorm after a domestic violent incident in which her then boyfriend, Chris Brown, assaulted her before an award show. The incident sparked a huge public outpouring of support for Rihanna, and she became a spokesperson against domestic violence. This happened to me, she said in an interview with Dan Sawyer. It can happen to anyone. I put my guard up so hard, she said in a separate interview with Rolling Stone. I did not want people to see me cry. I did not want people to feel bad for me. It was a very vulnerable time in my life and I refused to let that be the image. I wanted them to see me as I am fine, I am tough. I put that up until it felt real. In 2012, Rihanna appeared to be reconnecting with Brown. The pair worked together on the song Birthday Cake, released that year. Rihanna also spoke very candidly with Oprah Winfrey about her relationship with Brown that August. She told Winfrey that Brown may have been the love of her life and she has developed a very close friendship with him. The two officially dated again for a time with Rihanna maintaining in a Rolling Stone interview that Brown had changed and that any form of abuse would be unacceptable. Finances Rihanna has reached massive success in the music industry and has more recently taking over the business world. With her two companies, Fenty Beauty and Savage X Fenty, Rihanna co-owns Fenty Beauty with French luxury retailer LVMH. Rihanna is a billionaire, but not necessarily from her music. While Rihanna has become an extremely popular musician and has released tons of hit songs, most of her net worth comes from her two companies. Rihanna has a net worth of $1.4 billion, according to Forbes, which makes her the wealthiest female musician and the youngest self-made female billionaire. Rihanna owns 50% of Fenty Beauty and 30% of Savage X Fenty. Forbes reported that Fenty Beauty made over $550 million in revenue in 2020 and Savage X Fenty had a $1 billion valuation in February 2021. Uh, thanks for watching to the end. I hope this video has been informative and entertaining. If you like this video and you would like to see more contents like this, kindly like, share, leave a comment in the comment section and also please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed yet thanks for watching to the end have a nice day and look out for the next video